Right, so we've talked about the problems that could be created both from drag in the guide tubes and from the, the filament not being supported. So, um, you know, change the whiteboard drawing here so that the filament is uh, supported all the way up as close as possible to the drive gear and, and the roller. And uh, say we have low friction guide tubes or we have our filament mounted somewhere else, what else can go wrong? Well, in some machines, uh, there's not actually a, a bearing here, and that or, or that bearing is not spring-loaded, as you saw on the leapfrog. So, if there's a plunger or something else just pushing against the filament, and there's a sliding contact there, that can um, create frictional drag and prevent effective prints. So, in those cases where there's a, a plunger, um, generally you're going to have to, to change that out to a design similar to the ones I showed. Now there is a design out there by Lulzbot um, that has a Teflon tube that fully supports the, the, the filament as it comes down and then that, that tube is pressed against the, the drive gear and um, it's a, a pretty slick design that works really well with NinjaFlex. It was actually specifically designed for NinjaFlex. But um, in, in other machines, you know, that, that, that's something that you may have to change out. Uh, another issue with, with some machines out there is the, the size of the barrel is actually too large. So even if the filament doesn't actually buckle completely, it can, if, it, if it bends side to side, every, every point where it's, it's bent, it's going to be um, exerting a force outward onto the walls of the barrel, and that's going to create a lot of drag um, and, again, prevent you from getting good flow.